Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland, and the rest of the world, Supersonics Money Transfer has got you covered. With the largest payout network in the Gambia, you can now receive your monies anywhere you are, from Kartong to Koina, with less hassle. Yes! You can receive monies from your family and friends in UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland, and the rest of the world with our safe, secure, fast, and convenient service that offers you the largest selection of payout locations in the Gambia. Supersonics Money Transfer. We are currently in 34 African countries and counting, giving you quality money remittance services that are second to none. Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today to download the Supersonics Money Transfer app and enjoy excellent money transfer services only with Supersonics. another interesting episode of the Youth Bantama Show, live on Garment Talents TV, and I am your host, Aisa Tukoli. On today's Youth Bantama Show, I have a phenomenal um, young, talented Gambian footballer who has played all his life football and also represents the Gambia uh, during the AFCON tournament in Cameroon. I now introduce to you Mohamed Badamusi. Well, of course, he's a star and he knows what he is up to. I now allow Mohammed to um, say a few words to the viewers. Welcome to the Youth Bantamashi, Mohammed. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Well, hello everyone, it's Mohammed Badamusi, Gambian International, player of Kavi League. I'm saying hello to everyone out there. Okay. Well, tell us who Mohammed Badamusi is. Well, Mohammed Badamusi is a young Gambian player playing his football in Belgium. I was born and raised in Cholakunda, where you are right now. This is my part place. So I'm from Cholakunda, and I'm, I'm Gambian, like yeah. Gambian, but like half Gambian. My father, my father is Nigerian. Mm. My mother is Gambian, but I only know Gambia. So well, you're still a Gambian, though. Yeah. yeah. So tell us about um, your your educational background, where you started. You know, your secondary school, junior school. Yeah, I started my nose school here in, in Jolakunda. We have a school behind here. Okay. I started my nose school here, and then later I went to Ladikunda Sabiji, lower basic school. I spent three years there, and then I was in Fajikunda just for one term. St. Charles Luanga just for one term, and then I moved to Janjambure, where I finished my primary school level. And then I came back here, I went to Charles Jiao. Mm -hmm. where I did my junior secondary and my senior secondary schooling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's all. Amazing. Um, when we say football, you associating yourself with football, when did you start playing football? I started playing football at an early age. Like when my, when my father was still alive, I was playing football, but it was not like playing proper, proper football. I just yeah. had, the, had the chance to play football on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. And on Sundays, because my father didn't want me to play, he didn't want me to play football. You know, he was like, my father was a school teacher, so he was always like wanting me to, you need to, to concentrate. Yeah, education, education, yeah. education. But when my father passed away, then I had the chance. Like I was a little bit free, I started playing football. That was around 2009. Yeah, 2009. Yeah. What was it like as a teenager? Um, 
you know, playing and also going to school because a lot of times it's difficult for a lot of, um, you know, kids out there who, you know, um, wanted to play football, but mm -hmm. they could not because of, you know, some um, school issues also because parents re really do want their kids to focus more on school, you know, in the Gambia than other countries. Other countries, if your kid is, you know, um, wanted to do football or some other thing, they help you to, you know, through the process. But here it's different. So what was it like mixing school and then playing football? Uh, no, nah, no, I didn't do it okay. during school days. Because for me, when my father was alive, I can never, I can never do school mm. to play football. That was impossible. Right. But when my father passed away, like, like I said in the beginning, I was, I was more, f I have, I had more freedom. You know, my mother, my mother could she was going to work. She could, she cannot control me the whole day. You know. Mm -hmm. So it's always difficult. It's always difficult trying to do two things at the same time, like right. going to school right. and then trying to play football. It's, it's, it's difficult. So in Gambia here, parents normally want their kids to concentrate on schooling because football-wise, the opportunity here is is very low. Yeah. So yeah. parents don't normally think that okay, a person can make it through football. Mm -hmm. You always believe that you have to you have to go to school yeah. and then maybe you graduate be a lawyer or things like that you know but i just i just feel like it's nature sometimes and then working hard you know and a little bit of luck here in gambia because you need some luck in gambia mm -hmm. it's not only talent you yeah. need to have talent work hard and then mm -hmm. a little bit of luck mm -hmm. so i just feel like it's always difficult there's nothing that comes easy playing football and going to school is difficult but at one given time you have to choose what you want to do is it you want to focus on schooling or you want to focus on football for me I choose football when I graduated, when I did my final Exam. exams. Mm -hmm. After that, I concentrated on football. I just wanted football, so mm -hmm. it was easy for me to choose. I just choose football because that's what I want. Yeah. I mean, we understand you played for Jola Kunda and then um, at the Serikunda East, and then you went to Real de Banjo, if I am right. Yeah. Um, what was it like, you know, playing for a Noritan, a Noritan team and then you know, you were scouted and then, you know, you you, you, you went to Real de Banjo and then spent some seasons there before traveling to Europe. Yeah. For me, I, the only place I know is Jorakuna. Yeah. I started my football career here. We did never times, you know. We started from the qualifier rounds and then to the never times. So it was, it was an honor to, to, you know, it was an honor to play for my hometown, for my people, you know. It, right. It's always an honor. So, for me, I, I, if I if I have to give everything, is to Joe Lacuna because they are the people who made me what I am today. So you know, so it's always an honor and a pleasure for me. I'm I'm always proud to say that I started my football career from Joe Lacuna. So I started here, and then I think I played two, three years in Nawetan, and then I I moved to Real in 2014. Yeah. And then from Real I moved to Ngor. And then from Ngor I went in to Senegal. Yeah, in Senegal. And then I went to I went to Morocco. From Morocco then I'm now in Belgium. Belgium. Yeah. It's a journey. And um, I think a lot of um, young people out there don't know the struggles that some of you professional footballers went through before you know you reached the place where you are. Tell us some of the difficulties that you went through through your journey, you know, from playing for Jola Kuna, then Real de Banjo, you went to Ngor, then to Morocco, and then to Belgium. Yeah, in life, in life I don't think nothing comes easy. Right. Nothing comes easy, so in one way or the other, you must have one little story that, like, or some little obstacles that, that will come in your way mm -hmm. to success. So you just need to be strong in the head. You need to have a strong mindset and then you need to work hard. Mm -hmm. so I can remember when I was playing, when I was playing Navetan, it was hard, like even to find football boots, mm -hmm. you know, because if, uh, my mother was, my mother was the only one taking care of us. You, you don't expect her like to take the money yeah. Yeah. for the family to buy football boots. Where, where you put in the money and then you don't know whether you get that money back. So it was always difficult like to get football boots. But uh, the only thing you have to you have to 
you have to be grateful like that you have life. If you have life, mm -hmm. you are living. Everything is possible. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that was the most important thing. I was having life. I was having where I can put my head on, where I can sleep. If I wake up, I have food to eat. So yeah. I cannot complain much. I cannot complain much. It was hard, but it is what it is. So it's part of life, you know. I mean, I, I want to take you behind a little bit because I feel like the reason why you are doing football is because you are being inspired. Yeah. Um, what makes you like football to an extent you got inspired? Probably, you know, someone out there who's playing football might be, you know, an icon or a role model to you. So what inspired Mohamed Badamosi, you know, to play football? To be honest, like, I won't say he's anybody. I, I just felt like football is is something that I like, mm -hmm. and I felt like football is is a is a job or a profession right. that I felt like it can change my life and it can change the life of the people around me. So my inspiration was my mother first yeah. because I I always want to put my mother in a position that she will feel she will feel comfortable, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like she'll be happy that okay, my son is making me proud. You know, mm -hmm. so my first impression is always my mother. Like, yeah. I've been watching football since I was young, so, and I know I don't I wouldn't say I know football a lot, but I've been following football since I was young, so I know the things that football yeah. can give yeah. you. You know, yeah. so my inspiration was my mother, my family. You know, the people around me. I just feel like if I do good in football, I can change a lot of things. So. I think we, 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 we need to, you know, thank our mothers, you know, for raising us up. Yeah. Because a lot of young people mm -hmm. that I have interacted with on the youth Bantaba, they're very successful, very brilliant young people who are actually representing Gambia in, 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 in all aspects, all sectors. Mm -hmm. But the first thing they will say is Sumaya Mota Madafli. Sumaya Mota Mali. So I think we, we, we owe that to our, our our parents. So coming back to um another question. How was it like, you know, as a young person playing in, in, in Europe or other countries? Let's let's talk about the Seneg the Senegalese League, for example. You have played for Real de Banyun, you've also played for the Senegalese League. Mm -hmm. I asked um Wali Fofana, what's the difference between the Senegalese League and, 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 and the Gambian League? He gave me, you know, some of the things. How was it like, you know, and, and what's the difference between the Senegalese League and the Gambian League? Yeah, I don't think there's that much difference because I was playing in the in the second division. I was not playing in the first division. I was playing in the second division. There was not much difference, you know. The only thing is like maybe the Senegal, the Senegal is like they, they invested a lot in the league more than the Gambian league. So I think that's the only difference because you can see Gambian players, Gambian players playing in the Senegal is league. They are doing much better than even right. when they were playing right. in the in the Gambian league. So I just feel like. It's the matter of commitment and investment that the Senegalese League have more than the Gambian League. But I don't feel like there's a mo there's a lot of difference. Like there's there's a little bit of difference because obviously Senegalese they have international player players from Mali, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel like there's a lot of difference, you know. I think we, 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 what um, some of the things that we are lacking in in our Gambian football league is you know investors coming in to invest. Because a lot of times you you, you see um, young footballers facing challenges like you know transportation fee. But if at all you know we have investors who are actually interested in football, um, I think a lot of things will have been better. I, probably we might come, you know we might send the standard straight. We might actually say compare one of um, you know the two. But well, it's rather unfortunate. Yeah, that's the problem we have here in Gambia. Like we need to. We need to find people like to invest in the football. Yeah. Like the I don't know whether it's the government or the people responsible, like they should like put some rules and regulations for companies, like they should invest. Yeah. They should invest. Football is a game that can also bring development to mm -hmm. a country. So right, right. they need to they need to like force companies to invest. That's what Senegal is the Senegalese league is like. Companies know they are forced to invest in into football. Yeah. So, they need to invest. If, if they invest, like we will see, maybe not now, but it will take a, a, little, a little bit of time. But if we invest, we will see in the future a little bit of changes. Right. Mm. And I, and I, and I, 
and 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 I know um, you know the way our football is going now. Probably you know we might have some investors and you know these GSM companies as well coming in um, to support uh, the divisional um, league one and two and three because um, you know these are people that you know you scouted them and at the end of the day most of them will have opportunity to travel beyond Gambia. Yeah. So I think it is important. Now let's talk about Benamusi from Africa to Europe. Um, you know, you have signed contract, you went to Morocco, after Morocco, you went to Europe. Mm -hmm. How is it like um, being a young Gambian out there struggling? You know, at times you might adopt to the weather, uh, you know, languages as well. So how is it like over there? Yeah. Well, uh, when I first moved away from Gambia, it was Senegal. So yeah. Senegal is not like, it's not like a foreign country. Yeah. Senegal is more or less the same like Gambia. Gambia, yeah. yeah but when I when I went to Morocco, yeah, it was a little it was a little bit hard because I, I couldn't speak French, I couldn't speak Arabic, so it was difficult. I can only speak English, and then in the dressing room, they cannot speak English. Maybe one one or two players can speak English. Communication level was a little bit hard, mm -hmm. you know. Maybe the food, you know, the weather, but uh, as I always say, like in life, when you when you are a male child, like you should always learn hardship. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you cannot go to a place it's hard, and then you say that I want, I want to let go. I'm giving up. Mm -hmm. There is no giving up. Yeah. When you're out of Gambia, you know that you leave your family, your mother, your siblings. You know your family, your close one. You know, if you think about that, I don't think that there is anything that can make you come back. If, mm -hmm. if your fellow men are doing the same thing, why can't you? That's, that's the only mentality I was having. If my friends are doing this, I can yeah, also do it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when I, from Morocco, it was, it, Morocco was not hard like Belgium. Belgium was on another level. I went to Belgium um, October, I think. It was already winter over here. It was cold, freezing, you know, a lot of rain. It was hard like, my first season in Belgium was hard. Mm -hmm. I went, played one game. The second game I got injured like for three months, so it was hard with the cold. But and the frustrations as well. And the well. frustration, you know, you moving, wanting to play, and then you cannot play because of injury. It's, it's always hard. But I always thank God because in everything, everything you see in life is is destined to happen. So amazing. So. Um, I am reminding you viewers just still watching the Youth Bantaba show live on Gami Talents TV and I am Isa Tukoli. Today my guest is um, Gambian international footballer playing in Belgium, Mohamed Benamosi, who is of course um, a centre forward player, right? Yeah. Yes, I think I, I got that right. Now let's talk about your call up for um, the Gambian national team. Um, how was your first call of life? Because I know a lot of young Gambians out, both home and abroad, always wanted to represent Gambia in international comp uh, competitions, you know, um, wearing the blue, blue, white, green um, flag, national flag, which I think it's an honor for every genuine Gambian um, if you go out there to represent Gambia. So how was it like your first experience playing for the Gambia national team? Uh, yeah. My first call was like, like in 2017. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sangdong was the, the coach. The coach yeah. yeah, he gave me my first cup. He, yeah. I played. I think I played like what, 10, 15 minutes. I was I was proud. I was happy, but I was at the same time you know surprised because I was not I was not expecting expecting a call up. Expecting a call up at that time. It was I just I just moved to Morocco for three months, three or four months, and then I got my first call up. I was a little bit surprised, but same time proud because I always know how my people here back in Jolakunda will be feeling yeah. when they hear that I'm, I've been called up in the national team. Because I think I was the first person around this area to be called up, called, called up to the national team from Jolakunda, I mean. Amazing. So it was, it was always, it was always an, a, a big honor, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. I was surprised. It was amazing. Mixed feeling, surprise, and at the same time, really happy, you know. Mm -hmm. But it was nice. It was a nice experience playing with the Gambian national team. is always, is always nice, you know, missing some players that you haven't seen for years, yeah. mm -hmm. and then meeting up with them again, playing, you know. 
and then maybe sometimes because sometimes maybe you are you are with other people other people with a different culture yeah. and then leaving them to spend maybe two weeks with your Gambian brothers you know yeah. it's always nice it's amazing yeah. it's, it's, it's a good feeling yeah it's a good feeling um so let's talk about Gambia um, qualifying for AFCON for the first time you being part of those that um you know um took the Gambia um to the world, to the map, or to the world, because uh, after playing Afcon, we, we we we've seen you know a lot of changes in 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 our Gambia um, domestic league, and also um, you know how we portray things out there in terms of football. Mm. How is it like uh, representing Gambia for the first time at the Afcon tournament? You know we have the likes of Biri Biri who tried, you know they 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 were not able to succeed, and we know Biri Biri is a legend, but you know africa and you know in in, in europe or asia mm. so you being one of those that qualify for qualify gambia for the afcons and also being part of it as well because you went to um cameroon we've seen the energy that brother mosi is always in the dancing <laughs> and all which is my favorite part but mm. we'll come to that so um how is it like nah, it, it was amazing like it was amazing from the from the first from the first time we qualified here yeah. in in March mm -hmm. I think in March last year yeah. when we qualified you could see that you could see that when we qualified the last day the last game we played against Angola mm -hmm. the energy that the that the whole population brought to the stadium mm -hmm. you know even though the, the COVID was around yeah. people we didn't care about the COVID no, we were just celebrating so yeah. from there you, you everybody everybody knew that this is something else this is this is more than football this is this is something like the whole game we have been waiting for you know so for me as a player it was it was a honor it was a honor because the first thing that in, in my football career the first thing that i think about is me myself and then after me then i'm thinking about my family you know my my people from jola kunda because i know how how much they support me how much they want to see me succeed you know mm -hmm. so when we qualify our like my back home it will be crazy yeah. back home in my compound in my neighborhood everybody will be going mad you know so it was an amazing feeling and then going to cameroon mm -hmm. playing not i really wanted to score i really wanted to score goals but it didn't happen but i just knew that coming into the pitch and then my family my mother seeing me on the tv that's something else that's something like Every every young Gambian player is dreaming of like yeah. playing in big tournaments where your family will be watching you and then feeling proud about you. So it was it was an amazing feeling, to be honest. Yeah. So we've seen Bramos being um, called up for national duty several times, and then finally you represent Gambia to Cameroon. Um, I personally, I'm a fan of you. You know. I am a fan of Badamosi, but I really wanted to see Badamosi have, you know, most playing time to play for Gambia. Unfortunately, that was not the case. But still, you have that energy. Kulegis, you are positive. You're always positive. You're supporting, you're cheering up, um, you know, your teammates. How is it like, you know, not having the playing time that you wanted? Because I know you also wanted, you know, to go out there and, and you know, tell the people show what you what, what you got in you but well, unfortunately that was not the case how is it like it's just part of professionalism and that's what i feel it's just being professional because we know that <laughs> i want to play yeah. in the starting 11. Yeah. there's someone out there wanted to be in the exactly. squad list you know mm -hmm. it's just it's just like you need to be grateful and thankful in anything that you are in mm -hmm. because maybe i'm on the bench All right. i'm not feeling happy mm -hmm. another person is in the stairs watching the game mm -hmm. he he's not happy right. another person is back home with his club he wanted to be there but he cannot be there so not everybody can play we just have 11 players that can play 18 players maximum 14 players can only play yeah. so if you are not playing, why not cheer up the, the boys? Mm. That's, that, that's the mentality I always have. It's like, if I don't play, let, let the boys do well and we win. If, the, yeah. if we win, yeah. it's the whole Gambia that wins. I think that, that is the best someone could do for, for, yeah. for your team. But if, if we do well, 
if we do well, if the whole team do well, yeah. if the 11 players do do well, when they, when we are talking, we want to say that this or this person or this person, this the thing is that Gambia won, yeah. and then Gambia are into the finals or Gambia are into the quarterfinals, and then if you are there, you are part of the team. Mm -hmm. that, that's the, that's the energy that I have. I don't know what other people think, but yeah. that's how I feel. And and, I, and and I saw a lot of people on social <laughs> media, you know. Um, some of these activists, you know, these big people on social media, they are like one person that we have to acknowledge his positivity, you know, his energy. Even though you don't have, you know, the playing time that you wanted, but you're always there, but I'm saying that they feature, that they, <laughs> you know. So, you know, everyone was saying that. You know, because they feel like now you're young, correct? But you're not just there just for your own self. You are there to represent, you know, the people of Jola Huna, yeah. the people of the Gambia, mm -hmm. and you have that energy. So, and gives you love, you know, not one other other attitudes, you know, because we've seen players. Well, we don't know why they they actually walked out away from the tournament. Probably one of you know one or two reasons. But one of the things. Ha, a key most important thing is Mina Bada Mosimom, he's always positive. He's having the energy and cheering of the boys, which I think it's great. Yeah, that, that, like, if, if anyone knows me personally, people know how I am. That's how I am like. Yeah. That's how I am. I'm always positive. I'm always positive. I like to joke, you know. I just like to I just like to be free. I like people around me like to be free like I don't want people to be around me and then feel otherwise. I like people around me to be free. Like you need to come you need to come like during the day meet me with the with the boys here yeah. with my young siblings here or my young brothers from the neighborhood. I'm always free like that's that's how I am. Now like everybody is you have your own character you you have like how you are. This is how I am. And I pray to God that I continue being like this till the day I will have to leave the earth. Amazing. And and when I was making, you know, some research about you, I asked someone, um, who's this Badam Musi? And he was like, you know, and he's very down to earth, of a kind. <laughs> I was like, really? You know, wow. we go, oh, okay. So I, I, I think those are some of the qualities that not even a player should have, but also every individual should have. The moment you lay low, then I am lubari. As especially young people, because we tend to rush things. Because probably young, you, you you've been offered so many contracts, but you know you're still doing what you're doing, even though um, Gambians think that you should be in a better league, you know, uh, playing for better clubs, you know. And we, we get there because the most that have more um, league no longer play, and you know the team that you support. So. Um, how is it like being a Gambian national team player representing your country, Nipan is Nipan Nip Dilabai Hell, and playing on the Thompson paint? Because a lot of people say that he's 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 a man of principle, you know, mom that he's a sharpshooter. Where it is, where uh, that that's where it should be. So how is it like playing on on, on the Thompson paint? Yeah. I think with Tom, I played more games with Tom than any other coach. So okay. he's a good, he's a good coach, you know. He's a good coach, and then like he's a coach that works on tactics, like you know. Yeah. He want he want his players to play what he wants. So he's mm -hmm. a he's a fine he's a fine coach, and he's doing well with the Gambia. Yeah. I'm wishing yeah. him all the best. Yeah. Yeah, I think. So. Uh, what, what what do you made up of garments that, that that thing that he needs to be changed, you know, to be replaced by some, some someone else? That, uh, Did that's... you guys prefer uh, uh, Tom than any, any any other person, or you guys are just players, you know? Any 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 manager that's the that, problem. yeah, we any just, that you... we are just players. We yeah. keep to only only to football. Or is it because soccer criticizes Tom Dula or next thing next um, no, qualifier? No, DFB DFB says that player no important. It's why I mess up plus. I'm so bored. I'm so Yeah. I'm understanding. Yeah. Tom is the coach. He is the coach. We we are just players. We just play football. Mm -hmm. That's the that, that's the most important. The rest is the federation and the, you know. Yeah. I don't know the people responsible, but they are responsible. We as players, we are only responsible to play for the Gambia because Gambia is our Gambia. Yeah. No matter who comes or go, Gambia is still Gambia. Yeah. You know. So, yeah. 
the most important thing is we just play football. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, what are some of the challenges that you Gambian players face normally? You know, in terms of you know logistics. Well, like in terms of you know having some of these things that you don't get, because we've seen the saga that happens during your 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 cost of the tournament in Cameroon. Some of you, um, you know, your clubs were expecting you that particular day, but unfortunately they have issues with the flight. Mm -hmm. So, what are some of the challenges that some of you players do face um, at the uh, at the national when you guys are on national duties? No, I, I don't think like it's, it's challenges, but I just feel like every, everyone, like you need to know, you need to know what's good for you and what's like, what's good for you and what's not good for you. Like it's challenges that we normally have, like it's all, it's all over the internet, everybody is seeing. Like, yeah. Those are challenges that we normally have. Like in Cameroon, we had challenges, but like, we wanted to, we really wanted to come to see the fans, yeah. see our family members after the tournament, but it was not possible. So, like for people like me, it was not possible. I didn't have anything. I just took my ticket and go back to, to my club to play my football. That's like that's all. That's all. We the, the thing I the only thing I think is like is we as players, the only thing we can do is play football. Like we cannot come to the television or to the radio like yeah, to the, and complain. you know yeah. to complain that that's not something that we should be doing the only thing we we can do is to play football yeah <laughs> you have somebody or to say somebody then leave football and then do that mm -hmm. but for me i just concentrate on football what happens in any way that we go or with the national team or with my club or with anything i have no business with that the only thing i I concentrate on his football because that's the only thing I, I can do. If I have to leave football to, stay, to try, try to criticize somebody, then yeah. I'm leaving my, you know, I'm leaving my job yeah, doing another. I'm leaving my leaving my profession to yeah. do another profession, mm -hmm. which means that I might say something that I should not be saying, or you know, I will be maybe I will be, I will be making someone feel bad or feeling some some other way, some other way about me that I am not. So the only thing I would just concentrate is on football. Yeah. That's my profession, you know. But all players are also under the federation, right? Yeah. And you know, we have seen Gamians coming out you know, criticizing the federation, you know, with um, some of these needs that the players should at least got, you know. And uh, one thing that Gamians are saying it's because yendole de muna complain you know, whether to go out to the general public to complain. But you guys, Jensen Birek, you guys, you have your captain, your assistant captain, you know, you have to you represent. Some of these issues, I don't to raise to the captain, captain, you know, see, 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 see technical team. Like the, the other was more than you can play, I don't understand, I don't this. See if you football, like. Yeah. That's not my way. Man, CFI football, football, for me, it's like to keep my mouth shut. Yeah. Uh, so you concentrate uh, more on football. more on football, like yeah, more on football, like. So not only is it um swing uh, division league one football. Um, looking at it, um, I personally at times the money muna them say that they football, most especially when Real the Bandit is playing or you know fortune and stuff. Mm. Um. Like, not can I say swing division league one football compared to your London play um, division league one? I, I just feel like there's a li there's a little bit of improvement, like because yeah. now when even when we are in Europe, we sometimes watch the the football league yeah, live. live, you know. Yeah. So there's a little bit of improvement. Mm -hmm. Although we would have loved to see the league grow grow more, but at least. We are, we are we are starting from somewhere. Mm -hmm. We are watching the league now, even in Abroad. 
back home abroad we are watching the league so there's a little bit of improvement i just hope and pray that we will grow more and more and more and more you know so i want to have your opinion on um niti lindewa mm. most of the time you know uh, coach Thompson Payne, the, the, the sideline swing division league one league B. because most of um, his scouting book there, it's all on you guys. I Europe, you know, you guys are doing well. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sideline, you have the new and we are seeing, you know, a lot of young stars um, who are actually playing in the division league one um, football. A lot of them say, you know, I'm the young man, you're the play football. Yeah. You know, so don't you think from the scouting time it see um, division league one, um, 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 you know, some of the players you have the they are doing very well in division league one. Not this, at least you have a little bit of balance and experience because yeah, you guys are already experienced, but then you learn from you guys. Lola, 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 Federation act of Yom Yom or what and Silo, no, no, man as a man as Mohammed Baramus, play like a complay Gambia. I want to know your opinion. I want to know your opinion. That your Fogulone, Tom, what Nigel, one or two, at least Yom Tom, you feel that they belong to, you know, Yom Tom, I'm not in class who represent. At least you know you as a new drop along the way, one can understand. Well, Lula and Ekeru, one's more opinion doesn't matter. Really? Um, man, uh, my opinion, so, my opinion doesn't matter because the my what Tom Lumode. Yeah. Man, uh, Tom, my federation, be nyom nyom hamfu, nyom nyom nyom. Like I want to start federation, be what I like Tom. Man, my my brother, my player, like class. My opinion doesn't matter. Do my order see if he lo lo lo. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Lo do my order. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Don't want to rush you like. Well, okay, but 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 I'm only because I know we have limited time. Um, what you how it is? Um, Bolan represented Gambia in Afcon. Uh, you give me. Unfortunately, again, M to the um, quarter finals. Mm -hmm. um, which I think that for the first time, um, Gambia as a team, so called you have a new 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 competition, new 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 experience. But because of you guys, we are determined mm -hmm. and you guys work together as a team. More than you are falling aga. What was the feeling like, you know, representing the Gambia, you know, when you get to qualify as the, when them to tournament, be to an extent, when they do quarter finals. In fact, um, you know, a lot of people said that so far, so far, I'm on Sunday. So how how was the feeling like? The feeling was amazing. The feeling was amazing because come now over here, you know, you you go down there to tournament, be the object the objective was like. Then you gain a group stages, bit. Yeah. Low money concentration objective. You finish fourth or second. You gain a them round of sixteen. You them hamga. Kone ka kuro ni ni osera ma yaham ne ne. The one has been more on the team, you know. Collective bank, collective the bank of no no. Everybody was playing. Everybody, everybody was playing. Whether you came in in the second half or the last start, everyone, everybody was giving out their all. Hamga. So then basically quarter final be. I'm play. You know what I play at Cameroon. Yeah. Although we lost to Cameroon, why? Right? Everybody was proud. Yeah. New players, he yeah. supporters, he back home. Couldn't come mungi mungi proud on because boys, he they really did well. Never couldn't come. Then them for who know like I'm gonna put them play. You know then don't them play. Go on and then be high final, why? Yalla more on and then see quarter final. Then you M four then M ham. Definitely, definitely the game over. Man, we love now. Definitely the game over. We new new supporters because. For a very long time, just my Gambia new support any national team be come yep new support a national team be even even days you have never seen play bad. Yeah. Yep, this support national team be. Kuna kadi support like kuna kadi anglo kuna kadi anglo muna just lolo even you nene ka you nene kon Cameroon sa nyu game muna just lolo is internet be kuna kadi muna support. Yeah. Mark Halenda Uhamu. So 
Do leg more loud. I laugh, last up can be it was. It was an amazing feeling, huh? Yeah. Boy trying and throw up, boy trying and throw up. Mm -hmm. I, I think that was the best moment Gambia, G Gambia ever got since after, you know, since 2016 presidential election, we, you know, you have a lot of things going on and you get uh, politicians, activists, everyone coming together and you, 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 you tell Gambia first. And, uh, um, you know, looking at you get, I'm not your hands are stake and kids who score the little and co job, which I think it's 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 amazing because no the football more kawana. So the football I lot do am. But I think Gambia government with together with um youth and sport, um honorable minister, you know, always mom that they wanna say that you'd want to buy one time uh the co never put your time, you jap as a football way, you know, because we are seeing a lot of um changes, a lot of things happening uh through um, sports and, and, and other activities you have the young people still in the Munajapa. Now let's talk about um, what I'm as a whole. Phone have you seen to Sabopa? Where are you seeing yourself in the next five years, you know, as, as, as a young player playing for? You know your 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 country playing mm. for your club because I'm not a bugle or that's a club. You want to play more bigger clubs, more bigger team than 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 than, than the, mm. you know the one that you are. Well, man, man, for more boy, just more for more. Next five years, the ball will be on the field. Just more for why? Ligue at Agiala, because. Mickey Mom, you take like I'm Louis Hill, Elegham and Grammar. I'm gonna give money at them to a higher level. Lulm Bugana go personally. So then I continue work hard. I'm Dinyan Yala Yala Hammer. Musal Masi, I gain you because you're not a host of the cause you are made in the moon and you see Kanami a footballer. I'm gonna work hard. Dinyan Yala Yala Musal Masi, I gain you the moon. Then when I just move a place in England, you know, the place the Premier League. I'm a little lab, inshallah. Which yeah. particular team? Nah, <laughs> Chelsea was my team. Chelsea, so Chelsea is a good player. Chelsea was a good player. What do I play in Manchester United? Manchester. So I'm in Manchester, in Napoli. Ah. I don't want to stand up. I tell you, Chelsea is my team. Chelsea is my team. Amazing. So, yeah, so you're going to play at Chelsea or Manchester because Man Man Manchester is my team. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm going to go to Bahana. Wow, yeah, I'm going to go. So, um, you know, we, 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 we are now receiving information that uh, Gamio will begin the yeah, um, qualifier run, run up something, I think, you know. Um, Probably during not play send home games in Dunaika, Gambia, but instead it's going to be in Senegal. And and we have seen officials of the GFF, New Hamlet, New New responsible for logistics and all. The mm -hmm. then you make a survey, mm -hmm. you give snack. Uh, the only ground that is available is in chess. Mm -hmm. And Hamlet, uh, around June, you can want to place and qualify. Mm -hmm. Are you expecting for another call up to participate in this one also? Ah, we gonna play more. We gonna play. Um, we gonna play why? We need to get football. Like I'm only here. Uh, you you know, football. Then then you always get ready at any particular given time. Um, anytime when you call Gambia, la today Ghana win. There are just when you carry on you play. So you get off the heart. So you only when you play. Inshallah. So um. No, this is the current situation we ask Gambia. Senior Walum Swing Stadium. Because I feel like, me, in as much as um, the Gambia Football Federation has a, a bigger role to play, mm. but also in terms of Swing Bad Amnesty Solo. Why? Because they're there to represent the people. The reason why they're in those offices is because of you, me, him, and other people mm. are you that much disappointed and you feel bad because one come gambia with some capacity we look mel at fallen water play it's 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 not different it's different looking at swing stadium in more general stadium ball and water than play in chess mm. you know probably you want to see say i you know a top fan like me 
and others, you know, you're having your, you 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 them cheer up lah. So what 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 do you make of swing current situations and then swing games see you you go and play in Senegal? No. Man, lumas lumas si gil na hari ng mga kom playing playing qualifiers si na naka playing qualifiers si qualifiers si munyo just swing fancy because of time COVID. Yeah. Supporters si munyo duga. Exactly. Then after you you qualify, you then play up con B. Playing up con B para munyo play at home game finish because lo le mo mas na hari ng munyo am munyo reunite at fancy. Yeah. Lo le mo mas na hari rek ba ba. Moi lul tami football league league ni la de demen so we just need to accept and then we move on. Lu gena import lu gena important moi ni qualify next whether you go play Senegal or Fingo muni play lu gena important moi ni qualify cause so ni qualify le ni muna play so ni qualify le ni muna play. Right. So if it's stereo mi mom lu lu cigar la des hamu kom lu malako gai cigar Start in the interview with a player, mon player, and a monaneka. The family and I have a dosing mono was also to give a many young a made compa and Korea, young and day compa, young and go to Silo Hamne to Sion. Right. So, man, I prefer staying on my own lane, Bumodu Gassi, I were your Hamne Hamu. After she elect Nit Nila Merevola, Nit one in a key Hamu Bob Ham, the fire about it, whatever you know. Someone told me Belamus is a very smart player. You know, there are some of the questions you call impose. The 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 part tried to dodge some of the questions, which I think that he's he's doing. Uh, but um, finally, we 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 are at the latter part of the interview. Mm. Um, you when you can get me international player, mm. my guess, you know some of Sahale you get the how you mm. know, and then Buba Jika Axie you know my guess the young Tonyan Te guy and stuff. I know a lot of people out there you have the new new you know wanted to be like you some other day mm. and probably um they might think that the 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 journey to success where you are being an international player it's very easy you as a a player mm. i know you are young you still have a long way to go mm. but others also are looking up to you mm. so what would be those inspirational messages that you will send to, you know, um, Ibrahim and Mila Neka di Seitan, Wala Baka di Mila Neka di Seitan, Temum Temum Muga Neka Bada Mose? I believe. I'm not going to go to Sabova. 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 So they meet him just a few of them because you mentally you need to be strong. Then I will will learn that thing. Kubuga kubuga ne kalo ya fonga den school nga janga fonga read fonga gena read sa yena moromi. Hamo. So kung likewise in football tama so buge ne ka so buge ne ka professional. Then that thing hard although lock move. Lock move for the for some money you think about if you for now I'm too too lock for the other job for the I'm lock too too. Why for the first thing I they can all lose a bopper because you also have a bopper force. No matter no after no 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 well no 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 you all a force so then I they can all lose a bopper and they lila up with death. I'm a lila up with lila up with death. Then no work hard. Man advice we will have for. Young players, you know, they're going to be professional. All the lessons we're going to train hard. I'm not. They're going to be fat and full and juicy. I'm not. Yeah, it's simple. After she, after she, sneaky mom, sunny tiranga. I'm. Sunny tiranga. I'm not having any young fakio. I'm not. So now he's going to just go there. Why? So many things you're going to learn. You're going to be important. So more about the fat and sunny things I'm not. You're going to be fat and sunny. I'm not. You're going to be fat and sunny. Amazing. So um, finally, um, do you know what's going to be your final words to your fans out there, you know, and those that are watching? Um, I'm a poor guy. My, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do in life. So I'm going to choose. I'm not going to do in life. Go for it. Um, go for it. I'm not going to do in life. I'm not going to do in life. I'm not going to do in life. Kamu ilmu mana kalau ada, kamu harus apa faham? Hamba, nak kamu apa faham? Lila apa gadis, lila apa gadis? Nak go for it, hamba. Tiap bulan dia faham. Mungkin dia faham sih pensi awak. 
Bunda fare i piedi in si costa me. Non ho niente, 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 you know, in, 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 in when when it comes to um center forward, um Munasco goal and he's very, very down to add, very kind of course. Um you know, Degan and Go when uh, he was um closing um closing remarks um, um as a young players out there you need to believe in yourself and do not forget where you come from because I think that it is important. A lot of people lost along the way because you know you tend to forget where you come from. Um need domuna nekanit so amutesa you know, Sunday in your hand and your new life, and Nekalon, you know, you also, you know, you look up to people as well. He made mention of very, uh, very important to me, Neka, our parents. Um, I think our parents as young people played a very much, a uh, very much interesting um, key roles as uh, Susun Lively, Susun Gold, Susun Buga, and I think they need to be celebrated. Like I said, the Youth Venture Show is a program designed to talk about issues affecting young people and as well as celebrate them. And I'll be bringing in guests from different sectors, being it a lawyer, a nurse, a carpenter, of course, and the other thing that a young person, being it a Gambian or non-Gambian, this is the platform where we celebrate you. And uh, on today's Youth and Tawar Show, I have uh, Mohamed Badamosi until I come you in your way uh, next week with another young, amazing, uh, talented Gambian. It's a bye from us. Thank you. Kuyu wud fumu yifanan, a kuyu wud kuko wetali. Hana, de lo buntu gi wud lena bole, diya fatus guest house, ti jil na len buntu bi. Nyun len fa amma ngare kabinet sal yu yanya. Amma nen li nga khman ten moy kabinet ak sal, nyun len amel AC ak fan. Sal bi nak, nye pou li ngen sok la amna fa. Sofa yu noy nyo fa nek, TV bank fa, kabinet bo duga, lal yu noy len len fa amal. Amal nen len fa AC, ak li nga khman nen moy fan. Toilet yu set witch, man nen len fa kitchen, microwave, fridge and room bu baax dama ne teranga day mut motax di ya fatus guest house amal len extra kitchen e pour li ngeen bugo togg mun ngeen ko togge ci gas ku kabine kuy xalam di ci jaayu nak barke bi yaay borom amal ne li nga xamantene moy ndoxa courant 24/7 bu len tir bu len raga bu len xof ndax amal ne li di cctv camera set ci len ñu ci farafañe gannaaw garage ci basse bi ka wur highway very clean every day amna cleaning service fresh bi amul fed Yafatus guest house, teranga aduna but, konak siap silenyu. <tipos>